Hey everyone, my name is Morgan, and welcome back to Islands of Nine. I brought this game onto the channel a few days ago, and we now have our first hotfix patch out for the game this morning. This is fixing quite a bit, and like always, whenever an update drops for this game, I will be going over the patch notes and covering any sort of useful information or news that happens to pop up. So let's go ahead and get right into these patch notes. This is for hotfix 1.0.9685, and we're just going to jump right into it. For general fixes, they said fixed game launching into borderless mode when displaying full screen in settings. They've locked out INI &I settings that were being exploited. They fixed squad members receiving zero placement score if they died before the squad is out of the game. They fixed an issue with the dynamic circle system that could lead to slower than intended match pace in some situations. They enforced minimum engine settings to prevent exploits like shooting through buildings. They've added a V-Sync option in the settings. They've set max frame rate in the main menu to 60 to take some load off of GPUs while idling. Escape will now close the inventory when inventory is toggled. Waiting times for full lobbies and pre-queue have been reduced. Nanomeds will now always be consumed. This was a bug that was going on beforehand. Drones have smaller collision boxes to avoid creating an invisible wall when shot down. And then they have damage points are now aligned with the actual amount of damage dealt. In exchange, points for kills have been lowered just a bit. And that's all they have for general fixes. Moving on to some map changes, they said fixed getting stuck in ancient forest trees when crouching up against them. They fixed swimming under the map in some places. And they fixed a hole in the beam area that you could fall through. For matchmaking, they said fixed a bug where it was possible for a server to become a different game mode, solo to duos, duos to squads, etc. They fixed an issue where a leader leaving their party behind would cause the party to get thrown into an incorrect server when queuing up. And they also fixed an issue where if you didn't immediately find a game, there was a chance your party would get thrown into a solo server regardless of party size. And then the last thing they have here is regarding skins and the Steam Marketplace. They set alpha invitational skins to non-marketable and non-tradable. They set the caramel camo to marketable. They set the petal predator to marketable. They set the Kickstarter backer and Immortal skins to marketable and tradable, and they will be tradable indefinitely. They added weapon types to the Kickstarter backer and Immortal skins that shared the same name with others to avoid displaying the wrong item in the inventory. For example, the Kickstarter AK-47 backer. They've added armor types to armor skins to avoid displaying the wrong item in the inventory, chests, legs, arms, and the helmets. And they corrected the Nebula Meltdown icon graphic from Abducted to Limited. So that's all we've got. A pretty decent first patch for the game. They're on top of a lot of the bugs going on right now. And they fixed a few issues that I was even facing in some of my games. But as more information and stuff like that pops up for Islands of the Nine, I will be covering it here on the channel. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. If you guys enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, be sure to leave a like. And if you guys happen to be new to Split Screen, be sure to subscribe for all things Islands of Nine and more. Once again, my name is Morgan. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.